When I sit down at my wheel, I enter a space that I've found no other way to access. A kind of oneness with God, a spiritual Zen space. The sights, the sounds, the feel of the clay in my hands all provide fuel for my own creative fire, and it seems my senses are all heightened. I would swear that I can hear God more clearly when I'm in that space, sitting at my wheel on the very same counter stool where I sat for 18 years in the kitchen of my childhood home. I simply repurposed that stool, cut the legs off, and it's perfect for wheel throwing. I find my own thin place, a place of energy, where the veil between this world and the eternal world is thin. I find myself at once both potter and clay, simultaneously creator with God and at the same time the rich, dark mud from which God forms us all, both shaping and willing to be shaped. There are few better metaphors for our creative God than that of a potter at the wheel. The potter is master of her craft. The potter's hands center, open, shape, and mold the clay to take the desired form. The potter can decide if the clay needs more water or more sponge, more pulling or more compressing. The potter alone can make something beautiful and useful from something that is literally just a lump of clay. Throwing pots is messy, often frustrating work. And the hardest part is that most often the clay seems to have a personality of its own, resisting the potter's touch at every turn. This only makes the metaphor even more intriguing. The potter analogy can be a beautiful, soothing analogy, but it can also serve as a reminder that God is our potter. God is our creator. We are not the creators of our own lives. We were called into being by God, and it's God who molds us and shapes us. When I am centering clay, I think about the ways that I resist God, and I wonder how I might be more pliable, more flexible, more malleable in God's hands. When I am opening the clay to begin to shape it, I think about the ways that I can open myself up to God, to those around me, to new ideas and to new experiences so that God can continue to use me in new ways. When I'm raising the walls of a vessel, I imagine ways that I can allow God to build me up. No matter how well-centered I am, no matter how open I think I am, if I don't step out and expose myself to people and ideas that help me grow, then I'm not much of a vessel. In clay work, I remind myself that I'm both potter and clay, that I'm both capable of creating useful beauty and being that useful beauty that is created. With each turn of the wheel, with each setting of the sun, I am gently shaping, gently shaped. With each drop of water, each cleansing shower, I ensure the clay stays pliable, baptized anew. Every potter exercises constant judgment about the condition of the clay and the shape of the emerging work and responds accordingly by wetting the clay more, by pressing deeply here or quickly shaping there. When the clay is pliable, the piece can be mended, changed, angled as needed. What a great metaphor for the creative power of God. Sometimes we need to be reshaped, reworked, reminded, reformed. We need this to be reminded that God, out of love for the very world that was created, shapes people of all types to bear witness to and participate in the work of redemption, healing, and life-giving wholeness. God calls us all to be pliable, workable clay in her hands, striving to be a part of God's ongoing good creation within our own hearts, within our own families, among our friends, and beyond. Allowing God to shape and mold us can be messy work sometimes, but in allowing ourselves to be shaped by God, we are playing a role in the greatest story ever told, God's story. 
It is what we were created for. Friends, in these days of slowing down, of solitude, of stillness, rest assured that God is working in you and in me so that God can work through us all. Rest assured in this knowledge and be at peace. Thanks be to God.